So I'm going to read. Okay, hello, everybody. <laughs> thank you. I want to thank everybody and the Poetry Festival. And, um, okay, um, this is Squawk's Starbuck Macaw, and he'll be doing a poem with me a little bit later. And, yeah. all right, all right. Does this need to be down or just closer? I'm going to start with cottages. Cottages. What I'm telling you is I wouldn't mind if I could. I'd lease the cottage next door or down the block. I'd like to observe your windows, the cycles of light, slight movement of curtain or wooden blinds, you stepping out for a quick for the paper, to be there, to say, come on, let's walk around the block for sudden playful conversations. I'd come by often, I'd borrow your recipes, swipe gumdrops from your jar, nab a few chapters of any book I just happen to find, read them on your doorstep, knock on my door any time of morning or night, you'd be welcome, even if I was out of my mind and the house a mess as it usually is, typically unorganized. There are plenty of times I need a lift, you too. Anyway, sometimes I tell you kindly to get lost, but really, I let you in. Company makes misery an outcry. The other day, I saw two women at the cafe with one pair of earphones divided between them, one in one ear, one earbud in her friend's ear, and they were both bouncing to the music while they read different magazines. Could we ever be like that? Well, maybe not like that, but I'd like to take a run on a short leash until I got tired having a sore neck. Pulling this way or you dragging me away with you, sure I'd whine, but that's my way. We know things about each other that we never even have to speak. We'd get busy, we'd take time, we'd have invitations, a secret code. We'd fall in, we'd fall out. We'd have a bead on it. We'd have the rising sunset and the crow's and which way the crows fly. And the shuttle bus rumbles around the corner, and would you just check to see if I lock the front door? And do you happen to have an extra egg? I don't know. Just because we live satellite spark, the distance, what would it be like living in a sort of Armistead Ma Pen suburb? My best laugh, my best cry, a quick tea, a massage. See you later meant later soon, we'd catch an afternoon, or maybe not. Maybe I'd seem sort of hostile and hermitage, but you'd know, and wouldn't mind. Even now, I get that feeling. Keep leasing different cottages. Keep moving every third full moon, redecorating myself, throwing out some, recycling some, turning up the music to the right kind of loud, enticing you to open up again, and sometimes I'd string my laundry line right out to the telephone pole, to I don't know, to what they used to call maybe vibes. I don't know all the names yet, but I walk your neighborhood, I hop the bus, I cop a ride.